Welcome everyone to our first ever virtual award ceremony for grades K through seventh grade at Marin Christian Academy. My name is Christopher Michalik and I'd like to welcome you to our evening here of celebration for our K through seven program. I'm also the head of school at North Bay Christian Academy uh, at our other campus who also will be celebrating a virtual graduation. So a lot of things going on uh, at our campuses. I like to just uh, let you know that we are so proud of you and your children as they went through this time of closing our year in distance learning. We are going to be celebrating tonight their achievements in all these classes, three quarter of it on campus and one quarter of it distance learning. We have a lot to acknowledge here tonight, but first I'd like to bring up our superintendent of schools and senior pastor at New Life Church, Pastor Caleb Kling. Thank you so much, Mr. Michalik. It's great to be here with you tonight. Amazing that Marine Christian Academy has been celebrating 40 years of education in this community. I got to be a part of some of those years back in the 80s as a graduate of the school. And we're so proud of all of our students and all of the families for everything you had to go through in this last quarter to make learning happen. Thank you for not giving up. Thank you for your dedication. Of course, a huge shout out to all of our teachers for moving everything online and going through all of the, you know, all of the um, flexibility they had to endure, all the flexibility you had to endure. Like, big shout out to all of you. Job well done. Thank you. And um, we're so proud of the students for, for really um, going along with their learning in this way. We know it was not just learning their subjects in the classroom, but it was also learning all of this new technology. And um, I know parents, you were learning along with them. Thank you for your patience and uh, your graciousness in this time. So we're going to go ahead and pray and just kick off the evening of this uh, time of award ceremony. And uh, right now, I just want to uh, ask you guys to join with me in prayer. So Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight for your goodness. We pray, Lord, that in this ceremony, you would absolutely just bless every family, Lord, every student, every one of our teachers, every one of our administrative staff. We thank you for the great teamwork that has gone into making this year finish well. Lord, we commit our school to you, our lives to you, our family to you. We're praying over everybody continually in the midst of of this COVID-19 epidemic. Lord, we are praying for this to end. We are praying for healing. We are praying for uh, medical breakthroughs. And Father, we're praying for grace on all of us as we continue through this time. I pray, Lord, as we enter into this award ceremony tonight that each and every student would know, Lord, how loved they are, how celebrated they are. They would experience your blessing. Each home would experience your blessing. Each of our teachers would experience your blessing in the sense of job well done for this school year. We thank you for it, Lord, and we give you all the glory and all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Caleb, for that wonderful prayer and blessing upon us, which we've all needed and will need to get through the rest of the year as we start up. A couple announcements here before we get started with awards, as I usually do. I do want to let you know we're going to be starting up class as usual on August 24th. Well, as usual as it can be in this time, you know, there's a lot of uh, CDC and health department protocols we're going to have to f uh, follow. We're putting those in place here. Um, but we will be back in school August 24th, you know, regular school schedule with some adjustments there for all the health requirements. But we look forward to having you back. Uh, back. Thank you for partnering with us this year and next year. And please, uh, uh, when you can, spread the news that we're going to be in business, school as usual, come August to your friends, relatives, neighbors, because um, uh, be it'll be a blessing to all of us. We could provide even a better program as we fill up our classes to that maximum level that they're going to let us get back to. So thank you for your um, dedication to Marin Christian Academy. And, you know, Pastor Caleb already uh, did a wonderful thank you to our um, teachers. I want to thank you, parents, for going through all this and um, adapting distance learning, home learning, for bringing technology in your home. And just we've been praying for you. Um, I know you've been um, hoping we could get back as soon as possible, and we will be doing that. So thank you for all your efforts. I do want to acknowledge a couple teachers. Mrs. Michalik has been at the school for 15 years. This is her 15-year anniversary. And uh, let's give her a round of applause. How's that, Mrs. Michalik? Awesome. 
And then uh, also Mrs. McElroy has been here for five years on staff. So let's give her a round of applause. We're sort of doing the five-year mark of uh, acknowledgments for teachers. Um, it has been a wonderful year. We just finished our 40th anniversary as a school, which is a big accomplishment. I want to thank you all for all the fundraising. I'd like to thank the Parents Club this year, especially the Parent um, Association lead. That would be um, Keeley. Uh, Nicole, that she was such a blessing to all of us and leading that group and inspiring parents and students uh, to help raise the funds and make this school a fun and adventuresome place with our auction night, with our annual fund, and a lot of other events. She did the donuts, uh, donuts with dad and muffins with mom, all those kind of events she does every year with the, with the Parents Club. So thank you, Keely. Let's give her a round of applause to all the Parents Club. Thank you. And now I'd just like to invite up our first presenter, and that would be Mrs. Uh, Ruth Ann Newberry. Hello. Hang on just a minute. I'm supposed to do safety first. If I did that. All right. Hi, friends. I'm wishing you guys were here. Um, it's been quite a year, and I am very blessed to be able to do the presentation for the kindergarten because most of you guys, I actually had you in the preschool, so it was fun to see your faces in kindergarten, and I've just watched how much you've grown and matured over the years, and it's been a fun time. So our first person is Brooke Adams. She's getting an award, award for honorable mention and class performance award. Congratulations, Brooke. Our second award goes to Andre Patrice Zelaya. He is on the honor roll, and he got the reading class award. That guy loves books. <laughs> Our next award goes to Adriana Blanco. She made the principal's list, and in all subjects, she got the excellence award. <laughs> next, Mia Gomez. She made the principal's list, zero tardies, and math class award. Good job, Mia. And congratulations, Mom, for zero tardies. Next goes to John Carlo Lopez. He made the principal's list, also zero tardies award, and Bible memory verse class award. He knew his Bible, still does. <laughs> Good job. Next, Kyson Marshall, honor roll, zero tardies award, and class sports award. Had some on-time parents in this class. The next one is Giuseppe Magali made the honor roll and class illustrator award. It's awesome pictures he drew. Next, Jackson Andreska, honor roll, zero tardies, and class writing award. Oh, and stock papers. There we go. Seth Robertson, Robinson, excuse me, principal's list, zero tardies, school spirit award, homework award. Gianna Villefort, Principal's List, Zero Tardies, Outstanding Student Class Award. And that is your kindergarten class of 2020. Congratulations. Hello, family and friends, and welcome to our MCA Awards presentation. For our kindergarten class, they are such leaders and they grew so much this year. They are the future graduating class of 2032. Isn't that amazing? And I just wanna say thank you so much to all you parents and grandparents for all your support and, so, and helping your children grow this year and being committed to learning. I also have a very special thank you to the room moms, to Stacy Magali, thank you, and Les Lopez, thank you so much for all your behind the scenes of coordinating many special events for the past year. And to everyone, stay committed, be safe, and God bless you. Hello, my name is Mrs. Isaac, and I'm the first grade teacher. I'm glad to be a part of MCA and um, leading my class of first graders has been an honor and a privilege. And now I have um, awards for them, starting with Zoe Belleron. Zoe uh, made the honor roll list. Her character first trait is hospitality. 
Zoe earned the first grade Sunshine Club Reading Award, which certifies that Zoe Belleron has read her way to the top of the class and outshined everyone in the reading centers with great accuracy, expression, and retail skills. My favorite project of Zoe's was her Little Creatures Science Project and 100-day, uh, 100-year-old Zoe. I want to thank the Belleron family for volunteering in the classroom. Thank you so much. The next award is for William Liam Campbell. William made the principal's list and he received a no tardy certificate. William's character, character first trait is discernment. Liam earned the first grade high achiever award which certifies that William Campbell has shown excellence, high standards and spunk all year long in reading, math and distance learning. My favorite quote from Liam is hearing him say, first and foremost, before anyone else, I'm already done. Even before I can get to my desk, he's done. I want to thank the Campbell family for their personal encouragement and support. Thank you. The next is Polina Gradina. She made the principal's list this year and I gave her the Character First Trait Award for diligence. Polina earned the first grade Extra Mile Award, Extra Mile Award this year, and which certifies that Polina Gradina created the most organized, colorful, and informative science projects in the entire class. She really loves math facts, and she always goes the extra mile. My favorite project of hers was when she made a robot uh, identical to herself. She called it the Polina robot. And her 10 Little Creatures project was excellent. She memorized every fact and gave that presentation like a pro. I want to say congratulations to Belina and thank you to the Gradina family for volunteering in the classroom and for their online support during uh, distance learning. Congratulations, Polina. <laughs> Next, we have Danush Garam. He made the principal's list, congratulations, and he had no tardies this year. His character trait is loyalty. He earned the first grade Math Whiz Award, which certifies that Danush Garam has excelled in math and makes teaching fun and exciting because he whizzes through every single lesson. Congratulations. My favorite project of his was his four cities with the greatest weather. He gave great facts and colorful flip charts and did an excellent job. I want to thank the Garam family for volunteering in the classroom every time I ask. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is Jonathan Hun. He earned the honor roll. Good job, Jonathan. Jonathan's character trait is sensitivity. He earned the first grade Golden Rules Award, which certifies that Jonathan Hun thrives in a class because he loves to be where peace and God's love rules. He loves to tell his friends, quite often, to listen and obey. Congratulations to Jonathan. My favorite quote from Jonathan is, as most people can attest, he'll walk up to you and he'll say, Mrs. Isaac, I have a report. Did you know? Thank you, Jonathan. You kept me in the news. Also, my favorite project was his Dove project. We were studying mammals and birds and fish at the end of this year, and I love that he brought in the spiritual meaning, and he loved researching that bird. Thank you especially to the Hunt family for their personal blessings and supporting me. Congratulations, Jonathan. <laughs> Next is Abby Hippolyte. She made the principal's list, and her character trait is hospitality. She earned the first grade Fashion Expert Award, which certifies that Abby Hippolyte is the smartest and most fashionable student in first grade. She's sweetly put together from her bows to her toes and everything in between. Thank you and congratulations. 
My favorite quote from Abby is, um, during her Seesaw videos, she would always give a Hollywood goodbye and a big mwah after everyone. So here's back at you, Abby. Mwah to you and your family. Congratulations, and thank you to the Hippolyte family for volunteering in the classroom and tearing all those books apart for me. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, I have Janelle Liu. Janelle also made the principal's list and perfect attendance award. Her character trait is enthusiasm, and this I could tell within the first week of school. Actually. I assigned these character traits to all my students the first week of school, and it proved right. She earned the first grade thermometer award, which certifies that Janelle Liu always has a warm smile, a cool level head, and a clever word to help her teacher and her friends. And my favorite quote from Janelle is, on the hour, Janelle would check in with me at my desk and say, it's nine o'clock, it's huggy time. It's 12 o'clock, it's huggy time. It's two o'clock, it's huggy time. <laughs> and she'd give me this sweet little hug and go on her way. That was every day. Thank you to the Lou family and who volunteered for um, the auction and did a great job representing the first grade class and for all the blessings uh, at Christmas time because she was my classroom uh, parent coordinator. Thank you, and congratulations, Janelle Liu. Dario Maldonado, Maldonado, thank you. He earned uh, the Principal's List Award, and his character trait is flexibility. He also earned the First Grade Eyes on the Prize Award, which certifies that Dario Maldonado kindly competes in everything we do, sports and in the classroom. He always knows his score, he never brags, and he does look out for others simultaneously while he's keeping the eye on the prize. Congratulations. My favorite quote from Dario was a couple weeks after we went into quarantine and he sent me a message and he just said this, I miss you. <sighs> oh my gosh, I broke. That melted my heart, because he's so quiet, you never know. And my favorite project was his goldfish science project starring his very own fish. Thank you to the Maldonado family. Congratulations, Dario. Ezra Martinez. Ezra Martinez made the principal's list, and he had no tardies all year long. His character first trait is loyalty. He earned the first grade fair and square award, which certifies that Ezra Martinez will one day be a sheriff because he's already earned everyone's respect and everyone's friendship just by behaving and believing in what is fair. My favorite quote from Ezra was during career workshop week when he corrected me and he says, no, Miss Isaac, I am gonna be a sheriff. Okay, that did it. You will be a sheriff and you're gonna make an excellent sheriff for Jesus and for your community and I'm looking forward to hearing more about that. The Martinez family volunteered in my classroom and was consistently and constantly praying for me and that means a lot. Thank you, congratulations, Ezra Martinez. Emmy Marsetti, congratulations, you made the honor roll. Her character first trait is enthusiasm, and she earned the first grade class award of sugar, spice, and everything nice, which certifies that Emmy Marse Marsetti shows her sweetness everywhere she goes and loves to sweetly encourage her friends to forgive and really from her heart, teaching them how to accept one another. My favorite quote from hers, from her is on our phone calls and asking her, how are you? She would always say, I'm fine, and how are you? Like, seriously, she wanted to know, and I really appreciated hearing that all the time. Her parents uh, attended the MCA 
auction and was very encouraging to me and volunteered. Congratulations, Emmy Marcetti. <laughs> Next is Declan Mejia. Declan made the honor roll and his character first trait is sensitivity. Declan earned the first grade class award called Best Listener Award, which certifies that Declan Mejia is quiet as a little mouse, but you can always count on him because he's a great listener and he listens to me and he listens to his parents and so he earned this Best Listener Award. My favorite project from Declan was his Canary Project. Now, he did this excellent project with bird and sound effects and all included. Very impressive. I want to thank the Mejia family for volunteering during lunchtime and in the classroom. And every time I needed uh, any kind of help or encouragement uh, and support in my room with the students. Congratulations, Declan Mejia. <laughs> Blake Mashad. Blake Mashad made the honor roll and had no tardies all year long. Her character first trait is cautiousness. And she earned the Supergirl Award, which certifies that Blake Mashad has the gentle strength of a superhero who always lifts me up, lifts her classmates up, and battles problems with love. Congratulations, Supergirl. My favorite quote from Blake was a walk after recess when she said, no, guys, we're all sisters and brothers. Right, Miss Isaac? And they had come from a long discussion at recess, and I never forgot that, how she felt that that was so important, that the other 14 kids believed that they were all brothers and sisters. And they finally agreed, and she rested her case. I want to thank them for her family for volunteering in the classroom and attending the auction with me. Congratulations, Blake Mashad. My next awards are for Bryce Ressler. Bryce Ressler, congratulations, you made the principal's list. His character trait is boldness, and he earned the first grade class award of One More Thing, which certifies that Bryce Ressler is a great student who always wants to know one, sometimes two, sometimes three more things about whatever he's learning. And this happened today. He had several questions. And that just means he loves learning in school. My favorite project of his was his adorable I.I. Mammal Project. And I also researched it to see if I could maybe have an I.I. as a pet. It was so well done. Congratulations, Bryce. And thank you, special thank you to the Wrestler family for representing first grade at the MCA auction and for all your help in our school. Congratulations, Bryce. Cole Vinson, congratulations, you made the honor roll and you had no tardies all year long. His character first trait is sensitivity. Cole earned the first grade class award, Chin Up. This certifies that Cole Vinson is the most improved student of the year. That is because he learned how to keep trying and how to keep his chin up through the process. My favorite project of his was his Moray Eel presentation on Seesaw, of which he memorized and delivered with the biggest smile ever. Thank you so much to the Vincent family for personally supporting me and blessing me in our classroom. Good job, Cole. Jaden Zhang earned the Principal's List Award. Congratulations. His character first trait is flexibility. And he also learned the first, earned the first grade class Nobel Peace Prize Award, which certifies that Jaden Zhang has done the best work in showing his classmates how to be at peace, thereby making every Bible time, circle time, and transition better with his gift of peace. My favorite project of his was his 10 of God's Little Creatures and his seesaw presentation of winter as his favorite season. Thank you so much to the Zhang family for volunteering in class. We appreciate you. This has been a wonderful year. I am blessed and I know that my students are ready to move on to second grade. Thank you.
Hi, everyone. Welcome to the award show for 2020. I'd just like to say thank you to all the parents and grandparents who have been such a great support to me throughout the school year. Uh, in particular, I want to say thank you to Jesse Klein and Nicole Lee, who were my co uh, room parents for the year. I just appreciate all you've done for me and for the other parents and the children throughout the school year. So thank you so much. And uh, then I'd also like to say that um, I'm so grateful for your continued support of Christian education here at Women Christian Academy. So thank you all so much for that. Um, even though this has been such an unusual school year, I feel like we've all grown together and uh, we've learned a lot of new things. And I just want to thank you for your support and patience as we've uh, partnered together in a whole new way by sheltering in place. And uh, it just means so much to me to know that you've been in my corner um, this school year. So uh, I just want to say a few things about your, your kids and um, beginning with the the fact that they are so curious and they love to explore, they love to experience, um, experiment with things. You've seen this at home, I definitely see it in the classroom. And whether they are learning in the classroom or at home, their questions and thirst for understanding never stop. And uh, this, in my opinion, is what makes a really great learner, is someone who keeps asking questions and they have the ability to formulate questions, but the ability to ask them helps me to know that they are uh, on the way to becoming a lifelong learner. And even though their questions can sometimes be repetitive and uh, you know that they're repetitive, um, it, it helps me to see that they care about the world and they care about what's happening in the world they know that their voice matters and it needs to be heard and so i really appreciate all the questions and comments that they've asked over the school year in particular while sheltering at home and doing all the home learning i know that this this is something that our heavenly father loves as well when we thirst for knowledge and we keep asking questions he never uh, ceases to listen to us and he certainly never rebukes us when we ask questions and search for knowledge. So I just want to say thank you to um, you once again and to all the boys and girls. Um, keep asking questions, keep thinking, and uh, I love you all so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. Um, thank you again for your support. Well, hello everybody. I get to represent Mrs. Scott's second grade class. It's such a pleasure. Many of you, I give high fives in the morning, and sometimes you guys give me hugs. I love those, and what a pleasure and honor for me to um, talk about you a little bit here. Mrs. Scott gave me some notes. So, Jaden Albino. Jaden is receiving an award for being on the principal's list all year, earning a grade point average of 3.8 or higher. And his class award is for endurance persisting in all things. Mrs. Scott noticed Jaden being a friend to all his classmates. He was a respected and sought after partner in math and an excellent role model in physics, physical education class, earning several shout outs along the way. Congratulations, Jaden. <clears throat> Next, we have Eric Blanco. Eric also received the principal's list this year and his class award is for academic excellence. Ms. Scott noticed Eric's love for learning, in particularly math. Early in the school year, his eyes would light up with the challenge of speed drills and moving up through the levels of rocket math program. He also fiercely shared his thinking and how he arrived at answers in class. Congratulations, Eric. <clears throat> Katie DeLeon. Katie is receiving an award for her for honor roll, she kept a grade point average this year between 3.5 and 3.79. She is also earning a class award for being a prayer warrior. Her perceptive prayers stood out as she prayed for classmates and their families as well as her own needs. So many times over this year, Ms. Scott was touched by the compassion she prayed with. Truly, spirit-led prayers. Congratulations, Katie. 
Plannon Thelock. In receiving an honor roll award, her class award is for excellence in penmanship. Her compositions, whether in manuscript or cursive, were beautifully presented throughout the year. It was always great to read her work, no guessing on my part due to her careful written answers and thoughts. Congratulations, Plannon. Adeline Klein has an award for being on the principal's list all year, and her class award is for being a creative genius in writing. Wow, that's pretty impressive. From September through March, Addie often illustrated her individual words and compositions. This is called Rubus writing, famously done in the Geronimo and Thea Stil Stilton books. Although Addie took extra time in composing sentences and stories, the pictures added the extra layer of detail that made reading her work an adventure. Congratulations, Adeline. <laughs> Biani Lee Vargas earned an award for being on the principal's list all year, and his class award is for sportsmanship and physical fitness. He also earned an attendance award for having zero tardies. Biani demonstrated leadership skills throughout the year in both the classroom and outside on the ball field. By the end of the third quarter, he was teaching other students his skills in sports. And our PE teacher, Mr. Shri, commented on how pleased he was in seeing the growth in Biani's leadership during PE class. Good job, Biani. <laughs> Aliyah Romero is receiving, oh, I think I missed one, sorry about that. Stanley Marsetti. Stanley earned an honorable mention award for his academics and his class award is for being fearless and showing music appreciation. During his class time, Stanley would often hum songs while working on sea work and he loved to sing. He would never pass up the opportunity to dance. Chapel worship and music class displayed his playful movement, loving side of his personality. No inhibitions. Congratulations, Stanley. Aliyah Romero is receiving the principal's award for academics and her class award is cheerfulness. Her consistent pattern of entry into the classroom, whether here at school or one of the many other Zoom calls, she would always bubble over with enthusiasm and joy. Aliyah is also a class leader, often exhorting the class, but doing so with a cheerful heart. Congratulations, Aliyah. <laughs> Isadora Villafort has received an award for being an honor roll all year and her class award is for generosity, sparkly generosity. Isadora is a giver. She would hear of situations and immediately want to help and be a blessing in whatever way possible. She also often blessed the other second graders with gifts and it was, her, it was a blessing for me to see her heart as she shared with others. Her enthusiastic giving leads me to believe Isadora understands the meaning of Jesus' words when he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Congratulations to Isadora. And congratulations. And congratulations to all second graders. Hello, everyone. Well, today I have the pleasure of representing both the third and fourth grade today. Ms. Borman and I had such a wonderful year with uh, working together and working together with our classes. Um, I, we found that this year we had a wonderful mix and our students were able to grow together, not just uh, academically, but socially and emotionally. So thank you to all of the parents who have so supported us in our many community activities. We were able to go to Berkeley, and we were able to do some very fun community activities here in our classroom with the support of the first grade as well. So thank you to all of you who made that happen. And uh, let's go ahead and begin with the individual awards. So let's begin with Ethan. Ethan is the big brother of our class. He loves to help others and he enjoys solving problems. This year he received the principal's list and the Zero Tardies Attendance Award. For his hardworking attitude and his ability to strive for excellence, he's also received our Perseverance Award for the class. And thank you to the Balthazars for helping us be driving, driving to our field trips. And thank you to Andrev, who is our uh, fourth grade and fifth grade guitar teacher. Thank you to him. 
Next up, we have Katie. Katie is a fun and exciting student, and she loves to share her joy with others. She has a big heart and is a really good friend. This year, she received the principal's list and the Zero Tardies Attendance Award. And for her ability to for her ability to spread love and joy, Katie has received the Sunshine Award. And a thank you to the Bischels for all of their love and support and for joining us for all of those um, events here on campus. And their next uh, student is Deborah. Deborah is a strong and confident student who isn't afraid to try new things. She sets high standards for herself and she works hard to reach her goals. This year, she's received the Principal Award and the Zero Tardies Attendance Award. Because of her high standards and her excellence in writing and punishment, penmanship, she has received the Calligraphy Award for our class. And I'd like to thank the Maldonados especially for always helping me with uh, their prayers and just that individual support that they give me and Ms. Borman. Uh, next up is Hunter. Hunter is a fun-loving student with a lot of creativity. His ability to put himself in others' shoes made him an understanding and kind friend. This year, he has received the honor roll, and for his love of stories and insightful conversations, he has received the Reader of the Year Award for our class. I'd like to give a special shout out for the Hearsts for all that they've given and all of the love that they show us every day when they come into that classroom. Next up is Claire L, Claire Levitz. She is a self-possessed and very happy student. She also showed a lot of creativity this year. She had the ability to take one thing and make it into something brand new. This year, she's received the Principal's List Award, and for her loves and for her academic excellence, she's received the Speller of the Year Award for our class. Thank you to the Levitts for their personal support and their blessing to me personally um, and to Ms. Borman. We both really appreciate all that you've given this year. And next up is Gabriel. Gabriel is a kind and caring student. His quiet demeanor brings a balance to our class, and he uses his words to help lift others up. For that, he has received the honor roll, and for his creativity and storytelling excellence, he's received the Writer's Award for our class. I want to thank the Maldonados for driving us on our field trips and taking time out of their day to bless us. Next up is Sailor Nelson. Sailor is a lively and cheerful student. She's always ready for a discussion and is not afraid to speak her mind. This year, she's received the principal's list and the attendance award for zero tardies. Because of her excellence in discussion, she has received the communications award for our class. I'd like to give a special shout out to the Nelsons, uh, in particular Derek Nelson, who you see is uh, very active in our parent community. And he also comes into our class and helps with our in-class projects, drives us around, and just takes time out of his day to bless us. So thank you so much, Nelson family. Next, we have Devin. Devin is an intellectual and creative student. He looks at problems in many different ways, and he will often explore all of those ways before coming to his final solution. This year, he has received the Honor Roll Award, and because of his ability to solve complex problems in very creative ways, he has received the Mathematician Award for our class. I'd also like to give a shout out to the Vincents for joining us with that everyday support, being there for our class party, being there when we had our big um, in-class projects. Thank you for all that you do. Next, we have Claire Yao. Claire Yao excels at so many things, and yet she continues to set high goals for herself. 
She's determined to succeed, and her own high standards help her to become a better person with each passing day. This year, she has received the principal's list, and for her excellent memory skills and speech this year, she's received the Bible Memorization Award. For the Yows, thank you so much for supporting me personally. I've so enjoyed um, our individual talks about the Lord. And thank you also for taking time out of your day to drive us on those field trips. Thank you. Last up is Jacqueline Zhang. Jacqueline is a responsible and compassionate student. She values relationship and cares deeply for her friends. Her love language is gift giving, and I am so grateful for all of the gifts that she's given me throughout the year. This year, she has received the honor roll, and for her ability to share and give to those around her, she's received the consideration award. Thank you to the Zangs for being willing to help whenever I need. It was nice to have someone I could call just in case something went wrong. <laughs> and now I'll be moving on to the fourth grade, so I'll put on my fourth grade teacher hat. Have to wear different hats throughout the day, as all, I'm sure, even as parents feel. <laughs> so. For the fourth grade class, I had the privilege of teaching them for two years. I focused really on mathematics, and with them, I was so blessed that I got to see them grow and change so much over these past two years. I'm so grateful that God has given me all of this time with them, and I'm so proud of what they've accomplished. Greetings, MCA family. I appreciate the 100% support I received from every family and I'm so impressed with everyone's growth this year, especially during this final quarter. I see creativity, I see flexibility, I see patience. I appreciate all that you've done to help your kids through this final fourth quarter. Congratulations, fourth grade. You are now fifth graders. I look forward to seeing you again and have a wonderful summer. Let's go ahead and get started with our first student, Zoe. Zoe is our queen of vocabulary. She's a skilled writer and journalist, and she's not only learning new vocabulary, she takes what she learns and she puts it into her writing. She also received the award for Principal's List and the President's Education Award. Isabella Hurst is our queen of creativity. She has fantastic listening skills and a strong ability to illustrate a story. She's also an incredible runner and runs like the wind. She also received honor roll this year. Congratulations, Isabella. Sophia is the queen of communication. Her positive leadership and ability to speak in front of the class is so much fun to watch. She was able to make it to the speech meet this year, and although uh, we weren't able to attend, her speech was phenomenal. Congratula and she was also able to make the principal's list. Congratulations, Sophia. Adam is the king of imagination. His ability to create games and play with other students brings students together. He was able to take Star Wars, he was able to take Minecraft, he was able to take Fortnite and bring an entire group of students together and create brand new games on the playground. He also received the honor roll and the President's Education Award. And I also want to give another shout out to Keely Nickel, who helped to make our uh, Christmas party such a success. She does so much for the school. So thank you, Keely, for everything that you do. We really don't know what we'd do without you. Caleb is, uh, Cal Caleb Pat is next, and Caleb is our king of justice. He never compromises right and wrong. His diligence to complete his work is excellent and goes above and beyond so many. He 
he also went above and beyond this year when he went on several missions trips with his family and brought back uh, things that he learned, things that he talked about, and how he can share the gospel with others. It was a huge, huge, huge blessing to us. And I'm so grateful that um, the Pat family would include us in all of that. I also want to give a special shout out uh, to Obed, who would come in every day and say hi to us and became like our, <laughs> like our own little mascot for our class. Thank you for all that you do and all that you give. Congratulations, Caleb. Next up, we have Eddie Parazza. Eddie is the king of competition. He gives 100% in everything he does, and he never backs down from a challenge. He also was able to get on the principals list this year. Congratulations, Eddie. And I also want to give a special shout out to the Parazza family. Thank you so much for all that you give, all of the help that you've given in the classroom, helping me rip out those giant books, <laughs> helping us with all kinds of things, uh, for driving and for even um, helping us around the school and fixing all kinds of problems. Thank you so much for all that you do. Leo Romero is next. Leo is the Renaissance king. He will be remembered for his passion and his many talents in art, music, and reading. I've so enjoyed getting to know more about his talents, especially during distance learning, when he'll pull out his guitar and show us everything that he's learning. He also received the principal's list and the president's education award. Thank you so much to the Romeros for all that they do. Thank you. <laughs> Oliver is our king of storytelling. He's a creative thinker and organizes amazing stories. He also received honor roll and the President's Education Award. I'd also like to give a special shout out to Leah for helping us drive and helping us around our class this year. Congratulations, fifth grade. I wish you were here. I miss you so much. I know that you wish you were here. I'm not going to cry. You know how I get emotional with you guys. Um, it's been a great year. You've persevered. I know it was strange. It was strange, and I know you miss school a lot. So I hope this night lifts you up, and I'll try not to cry through it all so we can be happy. Um, OK, so my first student I want to talk about is Dixon. Dixon is on the honor roll this year. His class award is from me for, as the enforcer. Dixon is that student who obeys the first time, every time. And he became my enforcer. I didn't ask him to be, he just was. If you were out of line, he was the first with the three claps and a hand up, and he was ready to just have my back all the time. So thank you, Dixon, I appreciate that. Next up, we have Sequoia. Oh, yes, thank you. Sequoia, she is on the principal's list this year. She also had an award for zero tardies. She gets my class award for the artist. And when I say that she's the artist, I don't mean like she just draws. She draws. She paints. She plays guitar, ukulele. She's a writer. Um, and this year, we can add digital artist. And I'd like, like to think that I had a tiny bit to do with that, and the rest is all her. Good job, Sequoia. <laughs> Alexander, it was a pleasure to bring you to our school. Alexander is new to MCA this year, and he fit right in. He exemplifies everything that we believe in here at MCA. He just embodies what we want in a student, and he is just a hard worker. He's a really good kid. He has a huge heart. And he really added a lot to our classroom. He gets the principal's list. He has zero tardies. And he gets the historian. If you don't know Alexander, he loves history. He reads history for fun all the time. He talks history. I'm sure he could talk history around me about four times. Um, the kids were very enamored by him when 
when he first came to class because they just were blown away by his story. So thank you for joining us, Alexander. <laughs> Melanie, Miss Melanie, she was on the principal's list this year and she gets the Mathematician Award. And she doesn't, that's not an easy one because we have a lot of kids who are great in math. When the beginning of the year, Melanie was just, I could just tell, she was gonna be that student. She's just really gonna work for it. But she didn't know it inside. And I just kept telling her, you know, you're doing really awesome. You're really good at math. Do you know that? And she's like, well, maybe. So Melanie, I hope you know it. You got it now. You're the mathematician. You are. <laughs> My next student is Christian Holiday. He was on the principal's list this year, and he gets the Righteous Leader Class Award. So you might guess he and Dixon might have hung out a little bit. They're quite the dynamic duo. Um, but Christian, he's that child in the classroom who he's always doing the right thing. And he would lead the other students by example, always by example. So in our classrooms, we have jobs. You know, they might be um, tech team jobs or janitorial or teacher helper, there's always a line leader. Usually those jobs rotate, but Christian was my line leader all year long, except if he was sick. Then they'd all scurry there and I'd kind of have to rotate. He's just really good at it. He's a really good leader. So thank you, Christian. Sophia Mejia, she's being honored for honor roll for quarter one and quarter two. Her award, class award is the encourager. She is very um, observant. So you could come in with a new outfit or you could do something really exceptional or just that she thought was really great. And she was always there with lots of compliments. She's never, never short with the compliments. So good job. Phoenix, oh Phoenix, I wish you were here so I could just give you a few ribs because that's kind of how you are. I miss Phoenix a lot. Uh, he's um, full of joy and he's full of stories and entertainment. Um, I'll get to that. So he's getting an honor roll award for the year and he's getting the very special President's Education Award. That is for GPA and for his test scores. He's getting the vocabularian, it is a word, the vocabularian, um, because that he was so fun in class. I could just say, hey, what's another word for this? And we just go back and forth, back and forth with the words. He loves words. He uses them in his writing, in his drama, his storytelling. Um, I've definitely missed that, not being in the classroom with the kids uh, and be able to experience their personality. So congratulations, Phoenix. And last but not least is Miss Kaylani. Miss Kaylani named me Miss Mrs. Mack. Um, I'm also Mrs. McElroy, Miss Laura, Mrs. Laura. I've been at the school now, as you heard, five years, and so I have a lot of names. Uh, this year it's Mrs. Mack, and I think it's cute, so I think it's going to stick. Um, Kaylani is receiving the Honor Roll Award, and she's getting the Assistant Award for my class award. And I wanted, I added to this when I was thinking about it, she is the best personal assistant. Thank you, Kaylani. She, so in the classroom, always very helpful, always very helpful. But when we started um, our online learning, uh, she would just take it upon herself. We're having our Zoom meeting and she's clicking away. Miss Laura, I just invited so-and-so because they're not here. Oh, thank you. Good job. And so that went on the whole 11 weeks. And then I commute, and there's a couple mornings where the bridge, they're doing bridge construction. So who do I call? Kaylani. Kaylani, let the class know I'm going to be late. I'm on the bridge. Yes, Miss Laura, and she's emailing everybody. And so Kaylani, thank you. It was a joy. Um, like I said, congratulations to all of you fifth graders. I know they're you're disappointed in some things from the year, your fifth grade things, but, but we did it, and I'm so proud of you, and I just hope you guys know how much I love you. Wow, what a blessing to hear about all the achievements of our students here at MCA. Thanks for partnering us, 
this year and uh, helping us educate your children for God and uh, for their future success in life. Goodbye. Have a great summer. We will see you soon.